Hi, Yumi. What's happening, Yumi? You mean to tell me there's actually a little news in the Catech News this time? Don't tell me you haven't heard! Huh? Scoop of the year, blah, 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 Chris coming to Catech, blah, 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 too amazing. Chris? Chris who? You're kidding. Huh? Haven't you ever heard of the Subdigitals? Chris is their drummer, and he'll be at Catech today! Hey, you guys, cool it. it. Sounds like a phony scoop. Yeah, it sure does. Just another one of million to me is dumb stories. Well, it could be for real. It seems that Chris is coming here to visit his uncle. Huh? You mean that Chris has an uncle who works here? I wonder who that can be. You too, Aelita? How can you believe that stuff? If it's true, who do you think his uncle really is? Fumi, Chardin, Mr. Delmas. Not Mr. Delmas. Sissy could never be Chris's cousin. If she was, she'd be shouting it out to anyone willing to listen to her. What about Riley? Huh? Michael Riley, the custodian? Right. Well, in that case, why not Jim? <laughs> well done, Delarobia. Just as clumsy as ever. Jim, what a coincidence. We were just talking about you. <laughs> about me? Uh, yeah, it seems that the Subdigital's drummer is coming to Caddick to visit his uncle, and we thought you'd be the first to know. Uh, me? No, we'll give you an idea like that. I almost forgot how stupid of me. That's not your style of music at all, is it, Jim? You're more into, like, oldies, huh? Yeah, but wait a second. I also happen to like rock music, and I love the Subdigitals. Those guys are very talented artists, especially my nephew. He's really great. Hey, I was right! You're Chris's uncle. I can't believe it! Uh, I didn't say that, did I? Uh-huh, you sure did, Jim. That's what he said, right? Uh, okay, okay, little Chris is my nephew, but... Wow, now that's what I call a sensational scoop! Counting on you all not to tell anybody. Especially you, Delarobia. I don't want this getting around. I promise not to tell a living soul, Jim. Jim! Hey, you both got the wrong guy. I don't know any Chris. I never heard of the guy, you hear? Go away, away, I say! My dear Chris, on behalf of the entire staff and student body of Caddick Academy, I would like to wish you a very warm welcome. Chris, all yours. Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for this enthusiasm. As I guess all of you know, I came here to visit my uncle. <laughs> but there's another reason as well. The Subdigitals have decided to do a school tour to discover new talent, and to develop that talent by giving you guys a chance to be the opening act at our next concert. <laughs> and thanks to the kind authorization of your principal, we've organized an audition for this afternoon in your gymnasium. Here. Since when do you actually put any of your things away, Odd? Ha ha ha! Very funny! You know, you guys could give me a hand. If you tell us what you're looking for, maybe we could help. My CD demo! Oh, I absolutely have to play it for Chris! Well, you did put it away, in Kiwi's drawer. Let's see. Oh, thanks! My adorable little diggity dog. Hmm. Glory and fame are just around the corner. I hope not too many kids show up. Uh, you were saying? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, there you are. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, it's you. Yeah, I was thinking, Eileta, that since Delmas canceled class today, we can make some headway on the program for our new virtual ship. Well, I'd like to, but... Oh, no, come on, don't tell me you're gonna waste your time going to that audition. Imagine what Xana might be plotting on the network even while we're talking. We've got to find a way to travel there, and, and I was counting on you, Ailita. All right, I won't go. Mm. Chris has got to choose my demo. He's got a good ear for talent, and then I'll be the greatest DJ star of all time. The biggest DJ of all time, huh? What does DJ stand for, dumb jerk? Just cool it, Odd. You'll eat those words when you see me in a stretch limo. Mm. 
Ah, uh, don't worry. You'll see. Your mix will blow everyone away. Yeah, as long as you don't bust our eardrum. Hey, man, with friends like you, who needs enemies? Thanks for your support, Ulrich. Thank you, uh, Matthias, is that right? Uh, yeah. Next! Hello, I'm Sissy Delmas, the daughter of Jean-Pierre Delmas, the school principal. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play my best track for you. It's called I'm Headed for the Stars. Okay, Sissy, I hope it really takes off for you. You won't believe your ears, Chris. <laughs> Thank you, Sissy. Hey, Sissy, your stretch limo have a flat tire? Dork! Uh, hello, my name is Ad De La Robia, and I think I'd better explain that my music is a little experimental. Actually, uh, well, pretty different. Well, anyway, you're gonna love it. Mm. You see, this is where I'm stumped. I still don't understand the real nature of the transitional interface between Lyoko and the network, even though I've gone over and over the flux and... Hey, Ailita, are you listening? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, could you say that again? Never mind. There might be a way. I discovered that we could reconfigure the navigation parameters in relative function to the frequency of the flux. And there you go! Um, um, well, um, <laughs> I... Odd! Odd Delarobia! And what you just heard is just a little taste of what I can do. I swear, I've got lots of other tracks. You want to hear them? Some other time, maybe. Thanks a lot, uh, Odd. Gave it your best shot. That's the main thing. One thing's for sure. You said it was different, and you weren't lying. Huh? Oh. Well, now, Kip, have you found a future star? I'd rather not talk about it, Uncle Jim. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, system error? Okay. Don't blow your cool, Jeremy. We'll just shift the polarity of the contact flux and, uh, hand me those figures. Huh? Are you okay, Alita? <sighs> Something wrong? It's okay. I can finish up on my own. If you want to go, you can go. Are you... are you sure? Yeah. I think I know what's holding us up. Okay. I'm off then. See you later. It's not that simple. It's all part of this promotional operation. If we don't bring the record company some new talent, they'll be down on me like a ton of bricks. They've already made us change our name. Don't worry, my boy. There's got to be a youngster around here with a ton of talent. A few lights hmm? for the Catholic News, Chris? Just one or two questions. Can I have an autograph, Chris? <sighs> oh, no. I'm too late. <sighs> When's your next concert? Are you working on a new album? Sign my notebook. Calm please. down. You can't answer your questions if you all talk at once. Now, let's try it one at a time. Me first. No, me. Quiet down. That's fantastic. It's what I've been looking for all day today. <sighs> I'm too late. And you figure that compared to the rest of the candidates, I've got a pretty good chance of getting picked? Just thinking about being the opening act for the Sub-Digitals gives me the chills. Mm. Odd, uh, it's not in the bag just yet. You guys want to scoop? Chris finally found the opening act he was looking for. I know it! Fame, fortune, and glory are all mine now. Forget about it. No one knows who it is. Not even Chris. What? But... How can that be? I didn't stop repeating my name. No, it happened after the auditions. All he did was hear the music. He didn't see the DJ. I don't huh? believe it. He went to see the principal to see if he could find the Cinderella, whoever he or she is. Huh? What's the matter with her? Oh, well, when you gotta go, you gotta go, I guess. Oh, no, a Zeta attack. Yeah, Jeremy? The super scan has just picked up an activated tower. We've got to get to the factory fast. Okay, but Aelita took off when no one knows where she went. Wait for me under the arches. I'll stop by her room first. See you in a few minutes. <sighs> Chris! I was looking for you. I wanted to give you this. <laughs> oh, no! You found out who the mystery DJ is. It's huh? a. <gasps> <gasps> Hi, leave me a minute. 
message? She's not picking up. She's not in her room either. We were working together, but she wasn't concentrating. She was more interested in showing her demo to Chris at the audition. Oh, now I understand why she took off like a rocket. Do you think I lead us the mystery, DJ? Kind of looks like it. Will you mind filling me in? Don't worry, we'll tell you on the way. You two go and find her. She must have gone to the principal's office to see Chris. Meet us at the factory. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Huh? Huh? Whoa. You look like you're in shock. Did Sissy say something intelligent for once? Chris just kidnapped Aylita. What? Yeah, we saw him pass by with Aylita on his shoulder. He was totally weird, like the mad killer and executioner, too. Shouldn't we call the police? Uh, I wouldn't do that. That was just for the, the video. <laughs> I mean, the new Subdigitals video. They're doing this science fiction thing with robots invading the school. Right, well, we've got to go now. We've got parts in the next scene they're shooting. Huh? Yes, Jeremy. Huh? Chris? Okay. Uh -huh. Hey, look. This has to be Aylita's demo. Odd, look. Chris and Jim. Outside? She walked right into the lion's den. Aylita isn't there. Chris must have locked her up somewhere. That's weird. He doesn't look Xanified, does he? Only one way to find out. Look, kid, there's nothing to worry about. We're gonna find your DJ. Chris, check out this CD. It's just what you're looking for. Hey, Stern, Delarobia, cut that out. It's important. Look, we've got the demo Chris has been looking for. Hmm? What's wrong? You want an autograph or what? Uh, sorry, Chris, but I, uh... Beat it, you <laughs> two scram. And I suggest you watch your step. I got my eye on you. We'll discuss this later. I just don't get it. If he didn't kidnap Aylita, then it must have been a, a polymorphic, polymorphic specter! You can stop looking for Aylita. She's on Lyoko. We know there's a polymorphic specter on the loose. Okay, we're on our way. We're at the secret passage. Ha ha ha! You guys are as easy to track down as caribou in the Great North. Stay where you are. We have a few questions to ask you. Sorry, Jim, but we don't have time. We have to... Well, we happen to be in a hurry, too. Are you the one who put this together? Well, yeah. No, uh, it's a friend of mine, Aylita. What's her last name? What's the difference? She's in danger, and that's why we're in such a big hurry. What do you mean, in danger? What's this all about? Take us to her immediately, unless you'd rather settle this in the principal's office. Um, okay then, come with us, but let me warn you about two things. Try to avoid asking any questions, and get ready for a workout. Works for me, Stern. There's no work that I like better than working out. Jeremy, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Scanner, Yumi. Transfer, Yumi. Virtualization. You may be possessed by Xana, but you're still a rookie on Lyoko, William. Attack! Tower. It's bearing south of your position. I'll bring you up a vehicle. Thank <laughs> you. 
ladies. Having a bad leg day? William was hard to get rid of, but this one is a lot worse. Jeremy! What is this place? A mad scientist hideout? Who's that guy over there? A stunt double or a clone? A polymorphic specter. Well, Spectre or not, he's not getting my autograph. Hey, hands off my nephew, pal. Now you'll see what it's like to mess with an old special forces agent. Hey, we really need you, Einstein, so wake up! Get to get to the scanner room. Elita, she's in trouble. Hurry up! Hey, what's going on around here? I told you not to ask any questions. said Jeremy. Okay, first let me program an overweight. Transfer, Wolverine. Transfer, odd. Thanks, Jeremy. That was a close one. Move out, Aelita. Hurry up. All right. Virtualization. Crab cakes, did you miss us? Yeah! Yeah! Impact! You can have the last one. Super sprint! Great! I love having seconds! Uh -huh. I'll get rid of that imposter now. No one does that to me and gets away with it. Huh? Geronimo! No, Uncle uh -huh. Jim! I'm not so sure that's the right way. Oh. Yeah. You don't have to be a math genius to know that there's one too many gyms here. Reminds me of the time I fought against Hurricane Windstorm in Vegas back in 94. In the third round, I just won! <laughs> huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I... How are you guys doing? We've got our hands full here, and if this keeps up, uh, the sub-digitals are gonna need a new drummer. We're doing our best, Einstein! <laughs> okay, let's get down to business!
I'll fight you every step of the way. Bellpoy, I want an explanation right now. What is going on? And what in the world is all this equipment for? I would, but I'm getting tired of explaining it to you, Jim, because in 10 seconds, you won't remember any of it anyway. Not so fast. First, tell me who Alita is. Mm. Return to the past now. figured out what was wrong with my demo. I didn't push the second break with a series of scratches. You'll see. I'll do a lot better next time. Well, I guess in the end, Santa's attack ended up giving us another free afternoon to work on our virtual ship. Huh, Alita? Mm-hmm. Come in. Excuse me, I'm looking for Alita Stones? Uh, that's me, but... Uh... I'm really glad to meet you, Alita. I heard your demo, and I think it's really great. Can we go over to the gym? I'd love to hear it live. I'd like to, but I'm not sure I can. Go on, it's an offer you can't refuse. Okay then, let's go. By the way, how did you get a hold of my demo? Oh, one of your friends gave it to me. <laughs>